Hi, it's Dr. Robert Rutledge, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS, or polycystic ovarian disease, PCOD, and obesity and weight loss surgery. Polycystic ovary disease is a situation that in many ways is similar to adult onset diabetes. In diabetes of type 2, there's plenty of insulin in the body, but the body is relatively resistant. So in response to the need for the normal function of insulin, the body requires the pancreas to release greater amounts of insulin. And as greater amounts of insulin are created, a side effect is increased rate of obesity. So that the signal to fix the problem of inadequate response to insulin is actually a side effect that leads to more resistance to insulin and progressive higher levels of insulin are secreted and as each level steps up a bit obesity follows it in a stepwise fashion and so in a vicious circle the heavy patient becomes insulin resistant demands more insulin and as more insulin is released greater amounts of obesity occurs. As weight loss occurs there's a progressive decrease in insulin resistance, there's an increase in insulin sensitivity in the thinner patient, and so insulin levels decline, and as they decline, the blood sugar level normalizes, and the adult onset diabetes often resolves with weight loss following weight loss surgery, sometimes within days of the operation. Polycystic ovary disease works in a similar way. There's a demand in the body by the peripheral cells in the body for estrogen. And there is a feedback mechanism working through the brain that tells the ovaries how much estrogen to create. So there's a signal that comes to the hypothalamus in the brain that goes to the pituitary, which releases a hormone called luteinizing hormone, which then stimulates the ovaries to create estrogen. And in a heavy person, there is estrogen resistance as the body responds to the estrogen resistance by putting out more estrogen the body also has the side effect of increased obesity so again there's a vicious cycle there's a demand for increased estrogen because of the obesity the obesity leads to increased secretion of estrogen as the estrogen is secreted there's an increased body mass and fat mass in the body so there's further estrogen resistance a further side effect is as the stimulation of the ovaries increases, as it, the vicious cycle of estrogen resistance and obesity continues, the ovaries constantly put out more and more estrogen. They begin to form cysts as the ovaries are stimulated. And then another unique and disappointing side effect is that as the estrogen levels get higher and higher in a woman's body, they begin to spill over into the metabolic pathway where they are not made into estrogen anymore, but some of the estrogen is actually metabolized into testosterone. And this leads to the uh, external side effects that we see in patients with polycystic ovary disease with things like infertility, facial and other areas of acne, uh, facial hair, and male pattern baldness. All these things, again, can be resolved by weight loss. And we see that in the mini gastric bypass with rapid resolution of the signs and symptoms of polycystic ovary disease, return of fertility, and oftentimes women who are unable to become pregnant when they are suffering from obesity and polycystic ovary disease after mini gastric bypass can have a safe and healthy pregnancy. For more information, visit us on the web at clos.net or email me anytime at drr, that's Dr. R, at clos.net. Thanks and have a great day.